What's up guys? So real quick, haven't done a, uh, a tools in use in a bit, so I figure I'd come at you with the uh, pretty cool tools in use on the wireless Bluetooth pressure sensor. Check it out. Shut up and sit down. All right, guys. So we got an 01 GMC. I got Adam here, the new guy. Say what's up, Adam. The prodigy. <laughs> He's gonna help us through it. Basically, I'm, su I'm suspect of a bad fuel pump, but I'm gonna show you one of the main reasons I use this tool. Uh, not to say I'm by myself anymore, but I wanna test drive this thing because what's happened is it's falling on its face when you hit the gas. I got no codes in it. Um, Fuel trim seem good, no vacuum leaks, mass airflow sensor looks good. So basically with the two sets, we're just gonna take out of the master kit, you pretty much just need this fitting here because this set doesn't come with all the adapters, which is okay with me because I had the master kit first. So I got all the adapters, but basically hook this up, take your fuel line gauge for the Bluetooth kit and hook it up. We'll show you guys how to do it. We'll take this thing for a ride, see what we get. All right, guys, we got Adam hooking everything up here to the fuel schrader. And then basically what I'm going to do, since this is wireless, I'll show you guys how to set this up, how to link it to your phone. And then I'm just going to stick it to the side there while we test drive it. Be able to shut the hood, not have to worry about anything, any hoses sticking out or anything like that. So we'll see how the readings are. So let's see. I'm going to go ahead and hook this up to that. We'll get the old app out. So basically fire off the app. Hit connect. Sometimes you gotta hit the Bluetooth button. There it goes. So we got it hooked up. You can see the little Bluetooth icon lights up. We got the grafting on there. Pretty spot on. Release the pressure get this thing pretty much hooked up here away from anything moving parts or anything hot or anything it's got a nice strong magnet on there so we'll get it in there route that around that looks good there yeah got that routed around and then the little vacuum hose just kind of tuck in there nothing gets pinched all right I'm going to shut the hood we'll take this thing for a ride So what's nice about this is we could also check your key on pressure and I was pretty suspect of that checking it with the mechanical gauge. Key on. See now it looks good. Before it was only on about 25 pounds. But we're going to go ahead and take this thing for a ride and show you what this thing's doing. All right, guys, let's see if we can do this without uh, causing an accident here. We got our fuel pressure there. Start off kind of slow here. I don't know if you guys are catching that without the glare. 49, take it to my little spot. I like the test drive here. And then we're gonna gun it. And we'll actually be able to see the issue here. All right, here we go. We're at 44. We're gonna gun it. And it's starting to fall on its face. Look at that. We're almost down to 10 psi, 12. Not going anywhere. I had that thing floored and you just lose all sorts of fuel pressure. Pretty nice, accurate. I noticed one thing on this. It only gives you a certain time to connect. Um, I don't know if it'll do it. I pick it up on camera, but a little screen pops up saying uh, connection time disabled or ran out of time. So you gotta hit the reconnect button, the Bluetooth button again. 
But here, just again, floor it. Seems like it takes up right here. I'm starting to lose power, lose power, down to basically no fuel pressure at all. And I got it floored. So, definite fuel pump issue here. Easy way to find out, great use of the tool. I got the hood shut, no lines or wires sticking out, and then we would get an accurate reading right off my phone here. And then I could also record this to show the customer. You know, just hit the little record button and then I could show them where I'm losing fuel pressure and how. But here, let's get a quick recording here. Record, wait on some traffic here. We're gonna make this turn and gun it. There we go. Gun it. There we go, 19, 10 again. So, there we go, there you have you. All right, so real quick, got it back in the shop. You can see, still good as new there. Still reading fuel pressure. There you have it. All right guys, so I'm gonna write this thing up for a fuel pump. Obviously you can see it's clearly dropping out on the test drive. But uh, great use of the you know, EEP V700. I mean, especially by yourself. Um, I probably should have had Adam come along with me at least to record, but you know, ain't gotta worry about, like I said, no wires hanging out underneath the hood. You could actually go on test drives. A couple downsides to this as far as the app base goes. I wish you could change the units of measure because I noticed when I had it under at first, it was actually under bar. I don't measure by bar. I don't measure by kilopascal. I measure by PSI. And I actually had to stop, pop the hood, hit the button. You can't do it through the app. But I mean, outside of those little quirks, great little tool, especially when you're by yourself like I was. But check it out. If you guys haven't looked into this one, little pricing from Snap on it, but a great little unit. And it works with all the sets I got. So you guys seen this thing on the, when I did the uh, Snap on tool haul. Great tool. So as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. We're going to go ahead and knock out a fuel pump on this one. Catch you in the next one. Signing out.